Nigerian womanhood seems to have been devalued because of uh, the dissent by this young misguided, some will say girls, prostituting on the roads, on the streets of Rome, in Amsterdam, in Copenhagen, and Malmo. And it's like a dagger through our heart to see what has happened to the values within the Nigerian society. Now, the domestic response to this crisis, which again, uh, we all are, are familiar with, is either to enter a mere culpa, like the president did two days ago before the Anglican bishops, you know, in his home state. I was listening for a decisive statement to contain the threat to the Nigerian nation state. He just, as Nigerians would say, left hand for God. No! We can't leave for God the threat to our very survival. What I'm suggesting to you, ladies and gentlemen, is that Asso Rock seems to have lost its marbles in terms of confronting what needs to be done. Because you can't be appeasing just like Hitler was appeased to in Munich in 1938. Nigeria is battling a survival struggle and people are carrying on business as usual. I don't buy. You remember when President Jonathan asked us to score him and I gave him a score as a teacher of 40 years standing in the university. Now this man is not a first class person and definitely maybe I'll be uncharitable to give him a third class. So I gave him 55%. That's what the students call let my people go. Gentleman's grade. 2-2, two, two, that's what I gave him. And if you have, and it's embarrassing to us who carry PhDs around, the first time we are having a PhD in charge of Nigeria, look at what nonsense he has made of the country.